bees are, are a miracle and, and that if you know somebody that's a beekeeper to, to go and see them and, and look at the bees and, and, uh, and, and if, uh, uh, if you're so inclined you would really enjoy it. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's working with nature at the very height of nature and, and it's a thrilling thing for me and I've been doing it now over 30 years and, and I'm still thrilled every time I go in. I was a school teacher and, and I think one of the best things that I got out of teaching school was, was the fact that when you're learning you're enjoying, uh, you're enjoying life and, and with bees it's a never ending process of learning. Uh, uh, our scientists are still finding things out six or seven years ago they said that bees couldn't hear and, and now, now we know they can. There's all kinds of new development coming all the time and, and it's a constant learning environment and, and, and it'll keep you happy. You can watch how the smoke turns these bees and how they'll start running in and getting upset. But they're saying, oh my goodness, we've got a fire in the woods, we could lose our hive. And they become more obsessed with protecting their hive. They go and they, they start filling up with honey and they, they get ready to fan and they fan to keep the, uh, to keep the, uh, uh, the fire down because they know the heat is going to increase and it can, and it can ruin their colony. They store their honey up above the rest of the beehive. And there's a frame of honey. And this is actually gallberry, or not gallberry, I mean goldenrod and aster honey. And the yellow tint is characteristic of the goldenrod. Every single, every single nectar flow is different. And this is one of the later flows in the year. And it makes a product one of the very best meads. Mead was the very first alcoholic beverage made known to man. It's honey wine. The way we work a beehive is we start on the outside frame. Let me give them a little more smoke. And we take the first frame out. And we work our way over. Here's the workings of the beehive. These brown cappings right here are covering up young bees. This is called brood. And these will be hatching out in just a few days. Right interspaced in between it is pollen. And look at the difference in the pollen. The yellow pollen here, white pollen here, each one's from a different source. And then out here on the outside, we have honey. So this is a frame that shows you the whole inner workings of the beehive. Both of these two boxes right here contain all of this brood and all of this honey. This hive is ready to go into the winter. It has a full super of honey on it. The bees are still bringing pollen in. You can see the pollen on the legs of this bee right here. They're looking for another bee to be able to get out there and take that pollen and stick it down into one of these cells. They'll keep the pollen-like sources together and then that's the protein of their diet. Their diet is just like our diet. They have protein, they have carbohydrates. The nectar from the flowers is the carbohydrates and the protein is, is the, uh, the pollen, just exactly like what we eat.